Hello everyone, and welcome back to another car logos crafting tutorial. So uh, in our first one, we worked on uh, Toyota, which only took us like, three equations. This time, uh, I'm thinking about doing one for Nissan. Uh, I believe I stated that in last week's video description. That is the one I'm thinking about, and today I've decided to actually do it. I don't want to get this entire thing done at once because, because I know there's some things that's going to take a bit of time out and I want to save it for for next week. But for now, um, I want to start with the two rings on the outside. So uh, I want to choose to use radius of, let's see how this one looks, x squared plus y squared is equal to the radius of the circle squared. And actually, I want to I want to do try radius of three and five. This looks a little thick. Go play around with this. Maybe three and a half, and I like this. I want to go with three and a half and five. Uh, if you want to change the radii of each circle, just change this number down here and make sure you still have the squared. Okay, um, the next thing that I want to add is, is that rectangular, is that rectangle that goes in the middle of it? And I want to use an equation that I used in my last series. <clears throat> I want to use x to the fourth plus y to the fourth one and uh, we might change the I mean, we might make the degree higher to make it more rectangular for now these numbers to work and how much we stretch it it's going to be the number on the bottom oops right how much we stretch it horizontally is the number that we put on the bottom raised to the fourth power and as you can see, this does not look as rectangular as we want it to be. And since I don't want to keep on changing this, I'm going to create a variable. And all I need, and all I need to do is now just set this equal, equal to A. And bigger the number this is, the more rectangular it's going to look. In this case, I believe, looks like sweet spot seems to be 18. Well, I like 18. And make sure this is an even number, because I believe if you choose an odd number, it will look really funny. Yeah. So look, you're not, you're not getting a nice close shape, which is an even number. Okay, and then I want to set the bounds for, for, uh, for these circles. So in this case, I find out what that point is. I'm going to go with it seems to be at one. It might be slightly less, but I'm gonna go with it. So it's greater than even one. Made a one. Copy this. I'm gonna put it down here.
and I think this is a good starting point. And next time, uh, I'm just gonna write out the word Nissan here.